You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Are you trying to affect change in your life, but find yourself falling back into old cycles and patterns? Welcome to the Ilona Madison Show with your host, Ilona Madison. Ilona is here to provide you with the tools you need to attract what you truly desire in your life by showing you how to reprogram your old thought patterns and experience more happiness. So now, please welcome your host, Ilona Madison. Good morning. Welcome to the Ilona Madison Show. I am your host, Ilona Madison, and we are coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. So it's been uh, an interesting week. Last week when we talked, you know, we had this big hurricane Florence heading straight for us as a Category 4 hurricane, which was also anticipated to turn into a Category 5. And I got to tell you, uh, if you were watching anything online, on social media, anywhere, there were so many people sending major positive energy towards the coast, uh, the East Coast, the entire East Coast, as well as to the storm itself. And, you know, if by the time it finally made landfall, about four hours south of where I'm located, um, it was downgraded to a Category 1. Now, unfortunately, for the area of New Bern and Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach and a lot of those areas, they are experiencing even still um, some pretty massive flooding. So if you are on social media and you'd like to send your support, um, the southern part of North Carolina coast and inland could certainly use your help right now. So please keep those uh, people in your thoughts and prayers. But holy cow, did we avoid a real potential disaster in the fact that it did not do what the forecasters predicted, which is hit our coast as as a category four. So the reason I bring that up is number one, to ask for your support if you are in the position to do so. Um, Even just sending a prayer to those people, sending positive energy that way, that would be appreciated. But just to show the power of what the collective can do. And so, you know, when you hear uh, tragedies around the country and, you know, people say, I'm sending thoughts and prayers, you know, those are not empty words. Those words mean a lot because as a collective, we are incredibly powerful. You know, if you subscribe at all to anything that we talk about on this channel or any others when it comes to spirituality, you know, you recognize that we are not separate. We are not individuals. We are one collective consciousness. We all come from the same energy. And when we leave this physical body, we all return to the exact same energy. So please do send your thoughts and prayers to that part of the state and inland and anywhere else, because this I think the storm is still very much active and pouring rain and wind. Um, Not as a hurricane anymore, but still making its way across our um, great state and heading north, the last forecast that I saw. So anyway, just some things to think about and, and just understanding the power of collective energy and what we can do. And, you know, I believe there's a storm heading towards the Philippines right now. So we could also send our collective love and thoughtful energy uh, that direction. And there's also a lot of the guides that I work with are forecasting and predicting. Well, really, the real word is channeling. They are channeling 
uh, information that another big major hurricane is headed uh, to the East Coast again. I believe it's going to be hitting up a little bit further north based on their collective readings, their channeling readings um, at this point. So anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is just uh, quite a few things, actually. I want to talk about, continue the conversation about ascension. I want to talk about some of the energies that are going on. I want to talk about the power of forgiveness. And I also want to talk about the power of um, past life regressions and inner child work. Because, you know, I don't think that we that a lot of us know a lot about those things. And I do have some guests that I'm lining up for the show coming up in the next several weeks that are going to really give us some more insight about those topics um, because they're a lot more qualified to talk about it, you know, than, than I am with my, there's a lot of things I've learned on this journey and I'm loving talking about all of those and learning about all of those things as well. So I want to start off with the first thing, which is something that I've talked about before, but I feel like it just is worth mentioning again. And this is the difference between a belief and a knowing. And I want you to think about that for a second. What is there really a difference between a belief and a knowing? And what I would suggest is that a belief is actually something that came from someone else. Okay, a belief is a program. A belief is something that you heard over and over again as a child or as a as a young adult or even as an adult. Uh, a knowing is something that came from you. So again, a belief came from somebody else. A knowing came from within. A knowing is something that can't be changed. Okay, so I'll give you an example. A belief is, um, you know, money is hard to come by. Okay, that's a belief. That's prob- that could be a belief that you may have heard from your family or or people around you growing up. That doesn't necessarily make it true. It's only true if you believe it. And see, that's the that's the real catch with the belief. Okay, if you believe something, because this is an attraction based universe, you're going to find those things showing up in your experience. And that's going to give you the evidence that you need to continue that belief. You know, it's this same concept. Wayne Dyer, my favorite, probably my favorite mentor is Dr. Wayne Dyer. And he says, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. So. A knowing is something that can't be taken away from you. For example, I have physically experienced swimming. I know I can swim. Nobody can change my mind about that. Okay, I I've done it. I've been in the water. I've swam from one end to the other of the swimming pool or the ocean or wherever the heck I was. I know that I can swim. You see, that's a knowing. I know that I am a soul having a human experience. I have that knowing because I've had too much interaction. I just have this this knowing, this and there's, you know, the faith, faith versus trust. It's another play on words there. Faith still leaves you sort of in doubt. You're not really sure. You're having faith about it, but you're not really in the knowing of it. Whereas trust is, I don't even need to think about it because I know that this is the truth. I know that this is what is happening. There's no doubt. You're not in that shadow side. You're not in that fearful spot, you know? If you think about it, every thought you have is going to come from one of two places. It's either going to come from a place of love or it's going to come from a place of fear. You know, so let's look at this. A, A thought of, hey, today is an absolutely miraculous, beautiful day. Obviously, that thought comes from a place of love. I'm so worried. I'm not sure how I'm going to pay my bills. I don't know what's going on. That comes from a place of fear. Okay, when you're in the knowing that you are a universal consciousness, when you're in the knowing that you are protected and divinely guided, that fear-based thought starts to 
be eliminated. And a lot of there's another way to do that, and that is just going in and releasing those programmings. When we get back from the break, we're going to talk about ancestral programmings, DNA, those types of things. So it, it'll explain it a little bit more for you. You're listening to the Alona Madison Show on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. Stay tuned. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of America. In history in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Col des Beaux Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20 year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmar.com international.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com are you looking for employment and live in los angeles orange riverside and san bernardino counties jobs annex is the place for you are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in los angeles orange riverside and san bernardino counties jobs annex is for you employers jobs is your resource for career-minded people jobs is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward jobs annex has been serving los angeles orange riverside and san bernardino counties for over 14 years Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. You are listening to The Alona Madison Show. I'm your host, Ilona Madison, and we're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. So before the break, we were talking a little bit about some ancestral, you know, where, where do our beliefs come from? And there's a lot of a lot of different places that they can come from. You know, I've been doing just started doing and I talked to you guys about uh, one of these mentors, Sarah Wiseman, who wrote that great book, Messages from the Divine. She's got a great class going on. Uh, it's all about spirituality and intuition. And I've just recently signed up for that class. And I'm also working with Kimberly at the Illumined Guru. So I encourage you to go to both of their websites and check out. They both have um, free emails, daily emails, lots of great information. Sign up for one of their courses. They're very, very affordable. And it's really good information. And some of the things that I've been learning, especially about, you know, where our, our soul contracts, our ancestral um, limitations, things that we may have signed up for in previous lives that are still showing up karmically in these lives uh, in our life currently. And it really is a very powerful powerful opportunity and and really a, a, a powerful situation to go through and identify, you know, what are some of the things that you heard as a child that you are, you know, that created limitations for you? You know, we are stuck in these programs and these templates and we're really, it, this life, this Soul growth is all about breaking free from those programs, from those templates and re returning back to self-love. You know, what if I just want you to think about this for one second. What if exactly where you are right now is perfect? What if you're perfect exactly in this moment? What if everything that you've experienced is exactly what you were supposed to experience. Would that relieve some guilt? Would that help relieve some shame, some trauma? You know, would that help you identify the reason 
the reason for everything that has happened is specifically for your soul's growth. You know, you contracted it, you signed up for it, you agreed to it before you got here. It's all part of the big divine plan. When you really step into this knowing and you step into this, um, you know, sort of it's really it's freedom in knowing that now I'm not saying, you know, purposely go out there and, you know, wreck your life. But if that's what you want to do, then obviously that's what you're guided to do. Go for it. As long as you're following your inner guidance system, you know, you can't do it wrong. Because everything that you are experiencing is a product of your thoughts. If you want to change your life, you've got to change your thoughts. And some of these programs are ingrained in us deeply. They're ancestral. It's in our DNA. You know, if you think about it, you know, do you have a belief system that, you know, well, you know, my grandfather died from this disease. This person died from this disease. This, it runs in my family. I'm probably going to get it too. More than likely, that's the case. It'll show up in your experience because that's what you're drawing in. So it's those kinds of programmings and templates that need to be released. If you're not in a position right now where you can sign up for one of these courses, you know, I'm certainly available to help you as well, coach you through some of these things. Uh, and the good news about this type of coaching it is in, uh, unlike, you know, long-term therapy, the goal is to put myself out of business. You know, the goal is to, for you to need one, maybe two sessions, reprogram how you think, you go on and take on this practice, you don't need to be in in my chair, in, you know, in my studio over and over again, you know, it's, it's always good to check in for um, readings and energy and so forth. But as far as like the healing work, that's something that doesn't necessarily need to be a long term situation, you there are tools available that you can take from this kind of, of training. But if you're not in a position to be able to hire someone like myself, or these others that I've mentioned, you could also go on YouTube, there are a lot of very good, very um, powerful guided meditations that would just pick a subject. You know, what do you want to release? What do you want to let go of? Binaural beats, guided meditations, all of those things are extremely, extremely powerful and helpful for you. So what I want to do next is I want, I did a collective reading and I normally record these on Mondays and upload them to my YouTube channel. And what came through in the collective reading as far as the energy is right now was so powerful. I, I really felt called and compelled to, um, to just bring it to this particular program today and talk to you guys about it live. And so if you are interested in having your own live reading done, you can certainly call me. My, the number for the studio is 866-451-451. One four five one. If you'd like to have a free reading, call in. I'm going to get started with this particular one for the collective. And if you have questions or if you'd like your own card pulled, just let me know. So the what I normally do on my YouTube channel, which of course is under my business name, Spiritual Giant. If you'd like to subscribe and get those weekly readings, you can do that. You can find me on YouTube under Spiritual Giant. The situation cards that came out, two came out this time, and one is a major arcana, which is the moon card. And in this particular deck, it's called shadow. And what came out with it is the base chakra. And I'm using John Holland's um, psychic tarot for this particular reading. And so we got the moon and the base chakra, which is the root chakra. So the situation right now is that we are really being pulled a lot, a huge part of the collective consciousness is being awakened. Not everybody is designed to, to awaken in this particular lifetime, but there is a huge collective of people who are moving into this consciousness. And so they're really being called to do, to get grounded. That's what the root chakra to be, um, you know, looking at your physical experience and to be really working on your shadow work. Now, what is shadow work? Shadow 
shadow work is exactly what I was just talking about. It's going back and looking at those programs, looking at those templates, understanding where do your beliefs come from. That is what shadow work is. And that's the situation that we're being called to right now. I'll continue this reading when we get back from the break. This is the Alona Madison Show on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. Stay tuned. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers bio Biomats, alkali, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Welcome back. We're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio, and you're listening to the Alona Madison Show. Before the break, we were talking about the situation for this particular collective reading is time to do our shadow work. It's really asking us to get grounded. Um, I don't know if, if any of you are actually going through any real ascension or awakening symptoms. You might be feeling um, like a little bit of weight gain right now. I know I've been struggling with that myself. And that is really your body wanting to just be grounded. And that's when you, it'll come off. D- don't worry, just do your work. But if you're feeling like you've gained a little bit, maybe five, 10, 15 pounds, just know that that is, those are part of the ascension symptoms. And that as you do more releasing and purging in this work, that weight will come off. I have started to notice that myself as well. So it's time to do some grounding work. The action card that we got is, um, is actually the seven of swords and the seven of swords is all about taking off the mask. And that's what the, the, that's what the energy is asking you to do to take action right now is to understand that the veil of our reality between our third dimension self and our fifth dimension self is getting really thin. The collective energy is moving towards understanding that we are true, who we are, which is divine beings that our souls having a human experience. And so it's about taking off the mask. And as you do the shadow work for yourself, what you'll realize is that you'll realize you're not who you think you are. You know, you're not a woman, real estate agent, um, hairdresser, um, car salesperson. You know, you're not those things. You are not your accomplishments. You are not just a mom and a wife and a sister and a daughter. Those are, those are definitions. Those are 
Actually, those are limitations. Now, in the physical world, yes, you do ha- experience those types of things. In fact, that you know, you've got children that are waiting for you to feed them and those things. It's not we're not talking about abandoning your your i your ideas of who you are. We're talking about not letting that ego self be in control. And that's really what the removing the mask is. You are here to co-create. You are here to, to create abundance and to have experiences, but you're also here to return to love, to return to oneness, to understand that your son is my son and my son is her son and his son. And we are all one. And that's really what it's all about. Um, The action card, excuse me, the outcome card that came out is the Eight of Pentacles, which is really powerful. So what this is saying, what this reading, where we're going with this is if if it's time to do the shadow work, it's time to remove the mask, the ego mask, and to come to a knowing of who we are, truly who we are, so that our physical experience here can be more blissful, more joyful, more happiness, more abundance, more prosperity. That's what this is all about. The Eight of Pentacles is about knowing that you're on the right track. It's having put the work in, having done, you know, the right thing, being proud of where you are, gaining that self assurance, uh, and then moving forward positively in the physical world to all of the things that you want, because what's after the eight of pentacles is the nine of pentacles, which is material harvest. And so the outcome, if the outcome is wanting to create this abundant, prosperous, material harvesting world for yourself, it's time to do the shadow work. It's time to take off the mask. It's time to understand who you truly are. Um, The internal energy card that I pulled is rest and rejuvenation. And so what this is telling Telling me is that it really is important right now that you go within. I mean, that's that's what this work requires. It requires meditation. It requires journaling. It requires being honest with yourself, where you are, how you got there, and then releasing those energies, releasing those thoughts, releasing those beliefs from your energy system and moving into more of a knowing of divine protection, more of a knowing of the law of attraction and how this universe actually works. Okay. So that's your internal energy right now. It's really calling you within. And what's really beautiful about this reading is that the external energy we got was community. And this is a number seven. So this is a spiritual card. This is a spiritual community. And so, you know, you may be the only person in your family who is seeing things differently right now or awakening to certain different beliefs and abandoning old limitations and old constructs and and moving into this new awareness. But know that there is a spiritual community out there to support you. There are tons and tons of Facebook um, groups and YouTube channels that are all talking about this awakening and the event and how the world, the earth, not the world, the earth is changing. That's part of what all of these natural disasters have been about is just changing the earth, changing the landscape. So know that the external energy, there is a community of like-minded people that are willing to help you, that are willing to teach you, that are willing to work with you. You just have to reach out and find them. Okay. And then the overall energy card that we got is the third eye chakra. This is what was on the bottom of the deck when I finished shuffling for the situation, action, and outcome card. This is the third eye chakra. And so that means overall, you it is time to awaken. It is time to connect to your inner voice, to your inner being, to your soul self. That is the overall theme of the energy for this particular week. There is a a lot of energy moving right now 
And it's going to be a really, really powerful shift that's going to be coming between now and the end of the year. You're going to see a lot of things changing. So I'll finish the reading when we get back from the break. You're listening to the Alona Madison Show. I'm your host, Alona Madison, and this is the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. Stay tuned. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Welcome back. This is the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Ilona Madison. We were talking before the break about the um, collective reading for this week, and the energies that are coming in are very strong, very powerful, and very awakening. And, you know, I I just want to reinforce the fact that you do have a spiritual community out there to assist you. So I really, really encourage you, um, if you're not following me on Facebook, you can find me at Spiritual Giant OBX. And, um, you know, I put resources up there all the time about Uh, different people to follow. I've been a little bit quiet lately because I was on vacation. And then, of course, we were preparing for the storm. So I haven't been as active on Facebook as normal. But um, you'll definitely find some resources there. And anytime you have questions, you know, please feel free to reach out to me, spiritualgianthealing at gmail.com. Um, And again, if you'd like a a reading live on air, I encourage you to give me a call at 866 451 1451. I'd be happy to pull some cards for you, answer some questions, etc. So back to the reading, I did pull a healing card for the collective and two actually came out. And the first card that we got is inner child. And, you know, this is a number 16 and six plus one is seven. So once again, we're talking about spirituality, that seven is the number of spirituality as well as abundance. So This is really urging you at this time, uh, you know, we talked about the fact that it's time to do the shadow work, we've got to take off the mask, and that'll give us that positive momentum forward. It is time to do that inner child work, to really go in deep and start identifying, you know, what are some of the beliefs that you picked up as a child that could be creating limitations for you, you know, um, If I think about it, uh, what are some of the beliefs that I got through? And this is not about, you know, blaming your parents, because obviously your parents did the best that they could. And they were programmed as well by their parents and their parents were programmed by their parents. So, I mean, this is a it's an ancestral down the line type of situation. We're not blaming. We're just simply identifying 
recognizing, and then healing. There's nothing wrong with this. We're not, we're not here to throw anyone under the bus. You know, some of us had really wonderful childhoods and some of us maybe not so much. And just know that all of those things that happened were contracted before you got here specifically for your soul's growth. And you have to know that the reason you don't realize that we have soul amnesia is because if you think about some of the things that you went through, there's no way you would do that on purpose if you knew what was coming. But for whatever reason, your soul signed up for it before you got here. So hopefully once you return back to non-physical, you can get those answers if you're still desiring them. There's not much I can do. But if you haven't done a past life regression, it's a really powerful um, process. And you'll have a lot of epiphanies on, um, you know, why you have certain fears in this life or certain desires for certain things and so forth. But inner child work. Inner child work is really important because your solar plexus chakra, which sits just below your chest and right above your belly button, this is the chakra that is responsible, the energy center that is responsible for your willpower, for your determination, you know, for how you're feeling about yourself. And it's, you know, it's the next, it's the... The chakra closest to the center, your center, which is the heart chakra. So there's three below the heart chakra and three above the heart chakra. And if you can kind of imagine the three chakras that go up are your sort of spiritual chakras and the three that are below are your earthly grounding chakra centers, okay, energy centers. And so the solar plexus is sort of like the top of the three of the material world. And that is, it's a very important energy center because it will really determine your ability to manifest, how you feel about money, all of those types of things. But it's really where your inner child is is probably would would get the most wounded, you know, because it's really about how you feel about yourself. Okay, so know that your inner child is urging, always urging you to spend time to heal, to um, communicate with your inner self. And when I say inner child, you know, we're not necessarily talking about you know, a, th- a three-year-old, it can be, but it's the representation really of your inner being, of the inner you. You know, when we <laughs> come to this earth, when we incarnate into these bodies, we come perfectly whole and, and perfect. And it's not until we start going through um, the growth process that we start getting fragmented and we start getting programmed and we start developing these alter egos. And, you know, alter ego has a negative connotation to it, but I want you to think about it for a second. We all have alter egos, okay? Um, we have our work self, you know, how do you behave at work? Do you behave at work the same way that you behave at home? Probably not, because work is a different environment. It requires a different version of you, okay? Then we have our home self. We have our mom self. We have our wife self. We have, you know, for men, you've got your husband and your um, dad self. You know, you've got your friend self. You've got your perfect stranger self. So it's like when you are encountered by perfect strangers, you might act a certain way. When you're with your closest friends, you act a different way. When you're with friends that you're close with, but, but not necessarily, you're still getting to know, you might act a different way. All of those things are what's called alter egos because Depending on your level of comfort, you know, because we're fragmented and we have certain fears and certain um, defense mechanisms and certain blocks around certain experiences, we behave a certain way in different experiences. That's just how, how we get programmed to do it. Your inner child is one of those things that needs to be healed. Okay, so spend some time. There are great YouTube guided meditations that you can do to work with your inner child. And I'll also encourage you that doing this once is not going to be enough because there are a lot of different templates and a lot of different programming um, things that are going on that need to be addressed. And sometimes the way that energy work 
works is you have to open up one layer in order to get to the next. And so the deepest, most difficult, most painful wounding may not come up on the very first go around. It may not show up until the third or the fourth or the fifth. And so I encourage you to do this process enough times until you feel like all of those um, wounds have been restored and, and healed and removed. I'll continue the reading when we get back from the break. This is the Alona Madison Show. I'm your host, Ilona Madison, and we're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back. This is the Alona Madison Show. I'm your host, Ilona Madison, and we're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. So to finish out the reading, I was talking about the inner child. That's the healing card that came through before. And um, the other card that, that popped out with that was the sexual arts um particular healing card. And so this this card talks about if you it's got on here a masculine and a feminine energy. And so it's important to understand that within us we embody both a masculine and a feminine energy. And um, that's the yin and the yang. And that's why, you know, even if you're in a male body, you can have sometimes more of a feminine energy that's more prominent. And if you're in a female body, you can have more of a masculine energy that's more prominent. It's really about balancing the two. It's about creating a union within yourself between the masculine and the feminine, understanding the connection that they both play with you and the fact that you've got the power of the active action oriented masculine and the softness of the receiving nurturing kind and loving feminine and that both of these together are what's whole and so you know if you think about that and how we have polarized our uh, masculines in this particular society, you know, with this idea that masculines are supposed to be, you know, hard and not emotional and um, the breadwinners and all of that. And the truth is we're supposed to be whole, not overly feminine or overly masculine, regardless of your actual gender. You know, you're supposed to be whole and complete in that respect of un, of recognizing the purpose, the yin and the yang, you know, the purpose of a masculine energy and a feminine energy. And that is what's called balance. I can tell you um, as a Reiki master and, and energy practitioner, um, 
most every person who's ever come to get energy healing has an imbalance between their masculine and feminine side. And, you know, your feminine side is about receiving, your masculine side is about giving. And sometimes we have people that are way too giving. Um, they're, they're just, they're always giving, always giving, always doing, always in motion, always going, moving. Their energy is very just strong, very chaotic and very masculine. And then you've got some people who are very um, much on the feminine side. You know, it's, it's their action is blocked. They're, they're not able to take those, you know, powerful steps forward because their masculine and feminine energies are out of balance. That's why energy work is so incredibly important because staying balanced, you know, is just as important as staying grounded, you know, and you can't be grounded if you're not balanced. You can't be balanced if you're not grounded. So that's the other part of the healing message that came out for us in this particular collective reading. And um, it's really about identifying and understanding the balance between. There is no separateness. It is all one. Um, so the numerology card that came out for this particular reading is the number two, and it's called Patience. And, <laughs> you know, we have created um, time, which is an illusion. You know, there is no such thing as linear time. It does not exist. And so there is no past. There is no future. There is only now. That's all we have. You cannot tangibly identify, hold, touch, see, know the past or the future. This is the moment. This moment right now is all that we have. Every single thing that you desire already exists in a, um, in, in a, in the quantum realm. I mean, in this, it, it already exists. You just have to find your alignment to it. OK, and so it's not about, you know, when you're trying to manifest or attract abundance or attract something different in your life, the biggest block that you can have is thinking that it's in the future, that it's coming, that it's somewhere other than right now. Well, once I do this, then I can have that. What you when you have that kind of thought process, you'll find yourself always just out of reach of what it is that you want, because you're not visualizing it in the now. You're seeing it as something in the future. You're seeing the obstacle that's literally blocking you from having it by saying, well, I just need to do this. Then I can have that. You know, if I just finish this, then I can be happy. If I just get this done, then I can have that great house or whatever it is that you're desiring and really mastering this entire process of manifesting is all about understanding that you've got to get into that emotion now. Because if you're visualizing it as something that's down the road, that's where it's always going to be. But if you want it to be here and now, then you have to talk, act, think, feel, behave as if it already is here and now. And so with patience, you know, I like this term, but also it doesn't really serve us. You know, patience is just it's patience is suggesting that it's not happening right now and that we have to be patient. But Patience is also about understanding that, you know, everything that you want is already here. It's just about finding that alignment. And what I get from this is not about being patient in time, because again, time doesn't, ex linear time doesn't exist. What I get from this card is being patient with yourself, you know, being patient with your healing, being patient and kind to yourself as you go through this process. You know, since I started this journey well over a year ago, I have had to reheal blocks I thought I had already healed. And then I realize, oh, there's just a deeper layer to it. And so I sometimes will lose patience with myself and like, why is there, why do you have so much wrong with you? And so it's really about that is the message that I'm channeling for this particular card. It's, it's not about the timing of it, but it's about the understanding that there are blocks 
go through them, go through them again, and just be kind to yourself through the process. And then the abundance card that I pulled says unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. When we get back from the break, I'll talk a little bit more about that, and I'll also give you a couple of other tools. This is the Ilona Madison Show. I'm your host, Ilona Madison, and we're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. Betterhomeandgarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, betterhomeandgarden.com. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor coverings, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back. We're on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. This is the Alona Madison Show, and I'm your host, Alona Madison. So before the break, we were talking about the abundance card that came through for this particular collective reading. And, you know, the fact that, you know, unlimited ideas, you know, we are human beings beings, not human doings. And we've had this program that if you want something, you have to work really hard for it. And that is actually counterproductive to the way that the universe works. Now, I'm not saying that if you work hard, you won't achieve certain things. The challenge is that you'll be out of balance in doing all work, 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 okay? What spirit wants you to know is that this is an attraction-based universe and you will be guided to inspired actions. Those are the actions and the more in touch you are with your upper three chakras and balanced in the lower as well as in the heart center, so all seven are in, in alignment, the more of these great ideas, the people will just show up, the opportunities. You know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Same concept. You know, these things will present themselves to you when you're in alignment and you're open to receiving, which, of course, is also your feminine side. So there is the balance there as well. You know, so if you're working, working, working hard, 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 you're really say, sitting in the masculine side and you're not balanced in the feminine and the masculine. So, the, you know, unlimited ideas is suggesting that when you do get the inspiration to do something, that's when you should take action. Um, so I did also pull uh, from Colette Baron reed her postcards from Spirit. And this one was really on time as well. It says, Dearest You, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you, and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. 
You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan, and when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember, though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life, and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. You know, I love this message because it really does um, go back to reinforce the idea that you are not responsible for getting it all done. In fact, You'll never get it all done on your own. If you are working 80 hours, what's happening to your family life? What's happening to your physical life? What's happening to your mental life? And more importantly, what's happening to your spiritual life? You know, this is all about balance. Yes, there's work that needs to be done, but it should be inspired, fun and creative work. There's time that needs to be taken for yourself. There's time that needs to be taken for your family. There's t- There needs to be balance in all of those aspects. And that's what true co-creation is about, is knowing that it is not up to you to get it all done. Call on your guides. Call on your spirit team. They cannot interfere without your permission, which is what the beauty of free will is all about. But they are perfectly willing and able. You you also have your spiritual community that's behind you. So I encourage you, if there's anything that I can do to help you, if you'd like some energy healing, if you'd like a reading, you can reach me at spiritualgiant.co or spiritualgianthealing at gmail.com. I send you massive love and light and healing energy and have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you next week. You've been listening to The Alona Madison Show on the BBM Global Network and iHeartRadio. You've been listening to The Ilona Madison Show. Listen each week as Ilona shows you how to trust your intuition and connect more with the universe in order to be your best you. Join her on the next episode of The Ilona Madison Show. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.